This one is for Karen Strohan, a video response. Uh, and I didn't dress up. I'm actually on my way to something. That's why I look like a schmuck in a suit. I, I don't look like a schmuck in the suit. I am a schmuck in the suit. Authentic schmuck in the suit. Don't go with any substitutes. So. Oh, does he stop? He doesn't. He just keeps going. Uh, Karen, who I don't think she really knows me, but we all know her because she's girl, girl, girl writes what? Or Honey Badger Radio. And I listened to one of her uh, broadcasts or podcasts. She said that she's writing a book that she's been meaning to do, and she's going to send it to an agent and try and find a publisher. And I'm telling, I'm telling Karen and all of you out there, no, 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 no. By the time you find someone to publish your book, you could have written three. Okay. <clears throat> now, unless you got an in, unless you got yourself a really good agent, unless you got some interest. Trust you me, you're, it's going to be a waste of your time. It's going to be a pain in the ass. And unless you really think it's going to be a ground-shaking, earth-shattering book, you know, a top seller list on the New York Times, your best bet is to go CreateSpace, a.k.a. Amazon. Do self-publishing. Go to CreateSpace.com. This isn't a plug for them. This is just the truth. Go to CreateSpace.com and, and, and set up an account there. Upload your files. It, it takes a little bit of doing, but you're going to save yourself at least 75% of your time going that route than you will with um, a, uh, a, a traditional publisher. Uh, the other thing is the marketing aspect, which is what traditional publishers could sell originally. They can't even do that anymore. Um, she, you have a Karen, I'm speaking directly to Karen now, you have enough of an internet presence and enough, you know, you're over at Voice for Men, you got your thing, you got your, your YouTube, you have enough followers, you don't need uh, a, a network. You have enough people that will buy it to make it worth your time. And then on top of that, there is, on the frontier of, of this uh, uh, internet revolution, are the podcasts and the terrestrial, or I'm sorry, the, the digital radios, um, where you could advertise. I mean, right off the bat, Tom Likas, go and advertise. With him. He hits right up his demographics. He is Gary. Contact Gary Zabransky over at the Tom Likas Show, blowmeuptom.com. These guys are professionals, and they will get back to you, right? And the only reason I keep bringing up the Tom Likas show is because they are that good on the on the per, on the performance, yes. But if you're someone looking to advertise, and you want to do it through podcasts because it's this new media and it's cheaper, it's more effective, it's more affordable, you have a higher rate of return, go to Tom Likas, okay? Gary is professional. He'll get back to you. He will email you when the month is up saying, hey, what do you think again? And it's it, you'll definitely get your money's worth. So those two things right there, your prestige or your cachet, your, your reputation, Karen, and then just contact Tom Likas. That's it. Uh, that right there will make it worthwhile. And then there's other things like you can put an ad on Facebook and other stuff like that. Uh, have other people review your book um, you know, on, on to interwebs. And you've got plenty of people who have their own blogs and their own spheres that would be more than happy to do that um, and read it. So, you know, Dr. Helen alone, you get a, you get a copy in the Dr. Reynolds' hand, he's kind, he's nice. If he gets it, he'll mention that he has it. And if he reviews it, if he likes it, he'll write a review, and you're off to the races. You can get yourself an AR-15. Look it up. Glenn Reynolds, Captain Capitalism, AR-15. There's a funny inside joke there. So that's my video response to Karen. So hopefully uh, you, you, you heed my advice, and, and good luck. I mean, if, if you think you stand a shot getting, getting a traditional publisher, go ahead. But I wouldn't do it. It's just it's just not worth the time. Toodles.